Hello, today we're going to talk about the Hunter TCX51. The tire changer is a pretty cool machine here. Um, first thing we want to talk about is all of these levers and buttons. All of these levers and buttons have stickers and they kind of indicate what they do. For instance, uh, this guy right here, he's called our, our uh, bead press arm and the bead press arm has a little switch right here. If we push it down, we go up, pretty straightforward. Again, our, our tabletop here has two foot levers that control it. If we go down, it goes clockwise. If we lift up, it goes counterclockwise, as indicated by the sticker right above it. Same thing off of this guy. This is our bead clamp lever. So if we push down, the clamps are going to come out. And if we push it again, they're going to go back in. We're going to take our swing arm, can go backwards or forwards depending on when we need to use it. It also takes the mount head and we can position it and lock it in place. There's a sticker for that as well. And right behind me is our shovel. There is a forward and a backwards button. If we push it forward or backwards, depending on what we need to do. So let's get a tire. First thing we need to do is remove all of the air from the tire. So to do that, we're going to take our valve stem, take the cap off of it, and inside the valve stem we have what we call a Schrader valve, just like the Schrader valve inside your bicycle tire. On top of the storage up here, we have a Schrader valve removal tool. Put it inside the valve stem and turn it counterclockwise. Now this Schrader valve is going to go shooting across the room unless you hold on to it. So you want to make sure to hold on to it really tight. It's quite small. The Schrader valve and the Schrader valve removal tool and put it back up here. And we're going to roll this tire over to the shovel and wait for it. Okay, now that the air is out of the tire, we're ready to separate the bead from the wheel. So we're going to take our shovel and line it up and go forward. we separated the outside bead, now we need to flip it over and separate the inside bead. Now it's time to take the tire and put it back up on the table. So we need to make sure that we lift with our knees and not our backs. So we don't want to get hurt, tires can be quite heavy. Push down on the clamping lever. I'm going to index where I've separated the bead with our swing arm. So I'm going to turn it clockwise, making sure to keep the valve stem out of the mix of things. We don't want to damage it and a lot of the times there are air pressure sensors behind it. So we'll take our swing arm and push it all the way over, take our mount head or our deck head, is what I like to call it, and push it down against the wheel, lock it into place. I'm going to take our tire spoon and we want to use the nice plastic part so we don't mar or scratch anything on our wheels. Push it right on the bill of the duck head. Grab the bead and push it all the way over. Now if you need some extra assistance, if this was a low profile tire, we're going to take <clears throat> our bead press arm and we can push down slightly to help us out. Let's back up on it put it out of the way, push it down, and go clockwise. Then we're going to do the same thing with the inside bead. So we need to take our spoon, push it all the way in, find our bead, and lift up on the tire, push down all the way, and go clockwise again. Put our spoon back and we have successfully removed the tire. Now when we put the tire back on, we need to make sure to take the bead and put it below the actual head of the duck and above its back. If you do that, it should go on pretty easily. Before we put the tire on, we need to lubricate it. We have some tire lube right here and it is basically just soap. So if we soap up the wheel, And 
and we're going to take our arm out of the way, push our tire back on, and put our swing arm back in. We're going to take the bead, put it above the back of the duck and below its head. I'm going to push down on the lever, going clockwise, and just following the rotation with my arm. You can do the same thing up here, or, but sometimes, especially with a low profile tire, it's harder to do. So we take our awesome bead press arm again. Make sure the hook is always pointed towards the operator. If you put the bead on with the hook towards the wheel, it won't come back off and you'll have to start over again. So we push down, making sure the bead of the tire is below the head of the duck and the bead of the tire is below the lip of the wheel. If it is, it'll go on every time. If it's not, you're going to have a trouble. Push down on the lever, clockwise again. And pull our bead lever tool up and out of the way. We're done with our duck head, so we can unlock it. Pull our swing arm out. Now we just need to put air in the tire. So we take our inflation hose, put it on the valve stem, and we need to push down on the foot pedal only on the first stage so that air goes in the valve stem and seats our bead. Make sure you keep your hands out of the way of the wheel and the bead. It, it can be kind of dangerous, so. Okay, we can check our pressure here. If there's too much, we can take the brass button and push on it and it will relieve some of the pressure. Or if there's not enough, we can push on the pedal again, inflating it more. But we need to put our Schrader valve back in. So we're gonna take our Schrader valve removal tool and our Schrader valve. Put it on the tool. And we, we kind of have to be a little quick about this, but we're going to take the valve off. Air pressure is going to come out and we're going to push our valve back in. Take our tool, put it back on top and take our hose, put it back on so we can check the pressure again. We're at 35 PSI. Take our inflation hose and put it back. Take our valve stem cap, put it back on the tire. Release our wheel clamp. And we're ready to go balance.